The Song Collector is the first book I've written since having had my first child and I think inevitably part of the sort of the, the emotion about that has made its way into into the book and it was quite funny because when I was when I was pregnant my my mother was excited but her excitement I'd say was proportional because um, the baby that's you know now my son he was the seventh of her grandchildren so she was excited but you know number seven isn't quite the same as, as number one or number two um, perhaps or even number six and yet something happened when he was born and it was just sort of the, all the cliches of sort of eyes meeting across the room and she just saw him she fell in love and it's been sort of completely mutual and that relationship has really sort of intrigued me and inspired me. Partly it's just, you know, on a personal level, it's wonderful, it's lovely seeing my, my son do his mushki dance when he sees my mother. Um, it's less good when he weeps when she leaves, but I wanted to probe that relationship further and look at it sort of from a, from a fictional point of view. And I knew I didn't want to write about a grandmother and a grandchild because I think the sort of writing about something that's sort of too close to home could really be sort of quite inhibiting. I didn't want to write about my mother and my son, I wanted to write about what that relationship means and I suppose in some ways the sort of the challenges and the difficulties of that relationship, it's, it's a negotiated relationship, this is a child that you love and yet isn't your child and you have to go through your, your parent, your, your children or your, um, your, sort of your, your children in law to, to get sort of access to this child. And my mother's always telling me that she's sort of watching what, her sa what she says. I've never seen any evidence of this, but she tells me it's, it's true. And so I decided to write the book really from the point of view of a grandfather, because I felt that was, that was much more, more liberating and gave me sort of more scope to explore in fiction. And I also didn't want to write about a child that was too sweet and to idealise that children are great and they can also be difficult. And I wanted to write about a child who was interesting and challenging and where his relationship with his grandfather becomes very intense. And how the rest of the family feel about that, both the child's mother and how his grandfather feels about it and his siblings and the effect of that sort of very close relationship and the sort of fallout it has and the impact on the rest of the family.